you know, at this point, you've you've got you've gained some pretty pretty cool steam. Um, <laughs> have you got any good like hate mail you can share with us, or is that because uh, I, I always feel like if you're if you're not getting at least some hate mail, you're just not doing it right, you know? Um, yeah, I mean some. I mean, um, uh, well, it depends what you mean by mail in that sentence. Do you know what I mean? It's it's because uh, my, my email address is public domain, as you know. Um, I do occasionally get kind of shitty emails. Um, uh, in fact, that, that is an interesting topic because one of the things I learned, which has influenced my life and indeed my writing a lot, was that, that if you get a shitty, confrontational, aggressive, whatever email from somebody, the way to deal with it is to be nice and to be kind and to be totally. considerate and to be gentle. And 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 you and not, I mean, selfishly because you tend to win the argument that way, but also because it's just better than the alternative. And like you know, I've had people. There was one guy in Minneapolis who sent me this tirade of hatred, and I wrote back and said, "Listen, man, I think you got the wrong end of the stick on a couple of things here, um, and, and I'd like to set you straight on that. But uh, you know, also it may well be there's some things that we disagree about, but that doesn't mean you're not welcome at my shows if you want to come. Because he was like a he described himself as like a former fan or whatever. Sure. Um, and we ended up having a beer at a show. Um, actually, I put him on the guest list, and we had a beer after the show. Uh, That's and, beautiful, and, man. It didn't. It didn't save the world, but I think that I l- walked away from that experience with m- more, with less badness in the world than when it started. Do you know what I mean? Badness. Yeah. Is kind of like, yeah. Well, well um, paraphrasing. I mean, if someone writes "I hate you" on your wall, I mean, the really the best thing you can do is all right. Well, why? I love you, man, or whatever. You know. And it's like, what? Yeah. What can you really rebuttal well, to that? The, the other thing, again, and you know, this is something I've learned over time, and partly that's through more experience of social media, and partly it's just the nature of getting older and getting hopefully a little wiser. Is just it's like it, there's something so redundant about seeking somebody out to tell them you don't like their art. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like fucking grow up. Like there is more music in the world than any one human will ever listen to. If you identify a musician you don't like fucking A, draw a line around it, don't listen to it, and then you've got more time to find music you do like or do something else. 